When you have a water-cooled system in your computer, the last thing you want to see is this. Because this means your CPU is throttling down, and this may mean that there is not enough water in your cooler. So, it's time for a refill. What we need for this is an external power supply for the pump, a pipe, an adapter, and some sort of filter. And of course, water for the refill. Uh, distilled water should be fine. Okay, I'm not sure this can be heard at all. But when I shift this... There is the distinct gurgle. screwdriver I'll spare you the details how to remove the water cooler because I assume you assembled it before and if not there are plenty other tutorials on the net mm, completely dry Alright, let's see. They should do the trick. The pump is supposed to be powered by 12 volt, and this model should not be under voltage. And this is basically what any IKEA LED light strip um, power supply will provide. Okay, it is plugged in and let's see how it sounds. Hmm, this is not quiet. So what I'm going to do now is start the pump and start adding water to the pipe. This contraption is held in place with a wire attached to the chandelier. Don't do this at home. Okay, the pipe is full of water now and now it's time to move the radiator. There are air bubbles going up the, the pipe. Don't shake the pump and move the radiator. You are done when no more bubbles appear. Don't forget to seal and screw in the lid while there is still water standing in the hole. Don't use force on the lid because they break easily. Make sure everything is clean and tidy in the end because you don't want water in your PC. This also helps to see any leaks that may spring. Don't forget the heatsink compound later or this will be a very short adventure.
When done, let the pump run for a little bit to see if any water leaks out. Okay, here goes nothing. When everything is assembled again, make sure to run a load test and see if any leak springs. And this is it. The system is able to hold 32 degrees again, when it was hardly able to hold 80 before. And as usual, if you break your system, you get to keep the pieces. I am not responsible for your mistakes.